Click the bell icon to never miss any update. I felt for a long time that these taboos and myths is something that used to happen a long time ago and pe and it's not there around anymore but it is very much there and it's very very prevalent i think we need to be more open about it we need to you know be able to talk to one another about it i think that you know having menstrual rights is is that I think that I want to kind of try and change a little bit in my own way. So yeah, from then it's been a journey and we've just started uh, six months ago. But yeah, long way to go. So Ojas is an initiative which looks into menstrual health, management and hygiene. And uh, we primarily work with organizations who have a direct connection with beneficiaries. And we, are, we have three main verticals of awareness, distribution and sustainability. So our awareness programs are basically built in a manner which is very interactive and age appropriate. We have distribution drives which we uh, give sanitary napkins pro bono. We're working towards uh, training young girls on how to make their own sanitary napkins so that they can become self-sufficient. Self so yeah, those are the three main verticals we've already uh, touched about 7,000 lives uh, in the span of just a few months. So I went to my mom first actually um, and I told her that you know this is something I want to do but I'm not really sure how to go about it and you know I don't know what, what my next steps should be. So she was very very supportive and she was very happy uh, that I, I came up with this idea. And uh, yeah, I think since then she's been like my bouncing board. I go to her. I think that, you know, having menstrual rights is having like human rights. I think um, the right to safe sanitation, the right to having clean products, menstrual products, the right to uh, basic hygiene facilities, they're all basic human rights. And the fact that many women in India don't have that is quite disheartening and that's what we're trying to change, we're trying to change that. Um, having right, the right to information is, is also a basic human right and many people, like you said, like you said, um, don't know anything about periods until they get their first period and that is something that has to change and it needs to change immediately.